Let's talk about the now and today functions which are used to get the current date and time in Excel. So I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about them such as the formatting and how to extract things like the hour, the day, the year, etc. And at the end, I will show you an interesting use case. So let's go. Let's start by getting today's date with the today formula. Open close parenthesis, don't forget this, press enter. This is the 30th of October. Now let me click on this comma here. And if you get a number, don't panic. It's just about formatting. So under home, you have this arrow. Click on it, select date, and you can change the format. For example, this one, press OK. Let's get the current date and time equal now, open close parenthesis, press enter, and it's 6.59 a.m. You see, I woke up so excited to record this video. Now, the cool thing about those formulas is the following. Whenever you open the Excel file or you change something, for example, you type something here or you press F9, those numbers will automatically update. So this is dynamic. Now let's try to get the year from those two dates. So equal year, very simple. You can select any of the two. I'm just going to select this one, close parenthesis, press enter. For months, is the months formula. Let's select the second one, press enter. And for day, this is the day formula. Just close parenthesis and press enter. And you can see the date has changed because I've done something in the Excel. Now let's get the time. Unfortunately, this is not the time formula. The time formula is used for something else. So what you could do is equal now, open close parenthesis, minus today, open close parenthesis, press enter. So you can see 7 a.m. and 29 seconds. Now, if you don't get this again, you get a number 0 0.29. You can just go and change it here by selecting time and selecting this. So I'm just gonna press OK. Let's do Ctrl Z for now. And let me show you what 0 0.29 means. Well, one day in Excel is equal to one. So if you have less than a day, so hours, you will get a fraction. To understand it, I can just take this times 24 hours, you get seven hours. If I do 0 0.02 times 60, you get 1.2 minutes and 0.2 Let's put an equal in front of it. Times 60 seconds, you get 12 seconds. So this is how it works. I'm just going to get back the format. There we go. And we can proceed. Now let's get the hour and the minute and the second. For this, you can use those two dates. This one has nothing because this is just the date without the time. So let's start. Equal hour. We will start with this one. Close parenthesis, easy, seven. Now for the minutes, it's not min. Min in Excel is minimum. You have to use minute and select, for example, now. Press enter one minute and four seconds. You can do second, open parenthesis, select this one and close parenthesis, five seconds. Now the cool thing about dates is that they are numbers. So you can add, subtract, etc. So if you come back here and we click on the comma, you can see there is a weird number. Let me just do Ctrl Z and explain to you this number. Well, for Excel, Earth was created on the 1st of January 1900. So if I go here and click on the comma, this is day number one. Let's do Ctrl Z and for example, add a two here. So that's the 2nd of Jan. You click, this is the second day and so on. So let's add some days. Let's do equal, select this one, add two days. You can see you get the 1st of November 2023. You can also subtract dates. That's the same concept. Now, you can add time the same way I showed you. So, for example, if I take today plus, let's do 0 0.45 because time is less than one, obviously. So, you can see we get today at 10 a.m. and 48 minutes. Finally, an interesting case for these formulas is to use them to calculate days still due, days overdue, etc., especially when you have invoices. So for example, this one is due on the 2nd of November. So if I want to know the days still due, I can just do equal this date. So I selected the cell minus today. So that will automatically update every time you open the Excel 
open close parenthesis here you get a date no problem let's click so three days till due and here days overdue because this was on the 20th of october so those are 10 days what you could do is select today or just type the formula minus 20th of october you get something let's click and get 10 days